hello and welcome back to my channel i am shay the nifty mom if this is your first time on this channel you are welcome yay but please don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and the bell button to stay notified to the old subscribers thank you so much for sticking with me so today i'm going to be showing you a simple diy activity not so simple but simple <laughs> So yes, if you want to see how to help your child learn to, you know, button up and button down, please keep on watching. Alright, so here is a list showing the items you are going to need to recreate this play. So first, I am going to go ahead and draw a circle on this felt item. So if you want to buy felt, you can purchase it from me on my business page, which I am going to drop the link in the description box, right? So yes, now I have cut out the circles and I am going to go ahead and draw a bigger circle on a red felt and then cut it out like this. Then I'm going to proceed and cut this big circle into two equal halves. That's because I want to put a zipper in there. So I'm going to go ahead now and put the zipper and I'm going to be attaching it using hot glue. So once I have used the hot glue, I'm going to put it on both sides. Then I'm going to attach it to the half, to both halves of the circles I have on the board like this. Then. I'm going to tell you the reason for attaching the zipper as we go on into the video. So now I'm going to use the needle and thread to attach this button. Excuse me. I'm going to use needle and thread to attach this button onto the felt fabric. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the remaining for the remaining buttons. Just like this. And then now I am going to use the same hot glue to attach googly eyes on the ladybug's head. <laughs> on the ladybug's head, right? So I used a black cardstock paper to draw out the ladybug's head. Then I used the hot glue now to attach the ladybug's body on the brown cardboard. All right. So I'm saying I'm I'm trying to go slowly in my voice over because i don't want to rush it like i always do so you can understand me perfectly so now i am measuring the button on the sec on the smaller circles and i'm going to cut out that part and have them all like this that's because we want to use this hole to you know to to put the button inside like i am doing it right now so this is an activity that is going to help your child learn to button up to button down strengthen their fine motor skills develop concentration because they need to really concentrate to do their buttons toddlers don't find it easy doing their buttons but with act with practical daily activities it's going to help them to you know learn how to do this themselves which is a life a practical life skill right so mommy and daddy does not have to always help them to do that they can always be in control of their own outfit and also so once you empty to your child, your child is going to pull, going to zip down the zipper and then bring out the smaller felt circles which they are going to use to, you know, to attach to the buttons, to button up. Now it's not going to be easy because, you know, they are, they are, they are small fingers and all of that, but you have to, ask, you, have to you know, model the activity for them, show them how you want them to do it. They have to hold the button down. You know all the bottom family and you know insert it in the holes right so that is what i told my daughter to do and before you knew it like before before i knew it she was already getting the grabs and she was already you know fixing it and slotting it in the right places that's about it that's very easy so once they are done you know buttoning up again they're going to button down bring them all down and bring down the zipper again and um put the smaller circles back in the pouch now remember i said i was going to say i was going to tell you the essence of the zipper i put in between the 
Redfield's fabric. That's because we want wanted to act as a pouch for where we are going to keep the smaller circles. So it's just very easy to it is easy storage, compatible, and you know your child is going to love this they're going to learn from it most children love ladybug you can use any animal your child likes you know just try to make bring the bring learning to their level let it be something they can actually relate with you know something that when they see they're going to get fascinated and they're going to go in at it and learn right So please don't forget to read the description box to to see the link to my business page and you know the link to other to other links to share things with me your recreation your questions I'm always ready to you know to give you answers to the best of my knowledge thank you so very much have a nice day and see you on the next video bye bye.